if you take a look at the economic figures, uh, the economy is growing. The economy is more diverse than it's ever been. And uh, from a pure employment point of view, which has been always my focus, uh, particularly uh, in this role, is that uh, there, there, there are many, many job opportunities. So we've reformed the work permit system. We've done a, a host of different things. And uh, now we're at a point where locators are number one. Um, uh, strategy and policy and uh, you know priority at this particular time to try and get more people here because quite simply we've actually got more jobs and got people now. Well Locator it was born out of really a lot of hard work to um, get people into employment. We worked on the long-term unemployment, the youth unemployment, and uh, our unemployment levels are down to, I think we, it was the last year, we reached a 15-year low. Yeah. Um, so, which is a great achievement. We, we're seeing wage inflation as a result, and uh, we just uh, up the minimum wage just recently to, to 8.25. And uh, looking back over the last four years in my tenure, you know that's over a 30, nearly 30 something percent increase overall. Well, I, I, I think uh, what we've seen there, uh, I think I termed it as a renaissance, mm -hmm. and uh, and I, I do very firmly believe that, and you've only got to take a look back of the last few years, and what you've seen is now we've turned around those decades of decline uh, within our tourism to now see this uh, this new re renaissance. There, there is growth that is happening, there is investment that is happening, there is a confidence in the industry. Weather wasn't uh, it wasn't great. It was really challenging from a logistics uh, point of view, um, and it was great they managed to get the races completed. But um, you, you also got to look at the year before, and what we do know is we have a really good, wonderfully wonderful weather. We get a, usually a, a very positive return in terms of the numbers. So we're, where we are now, we're, we're getting very close to approaching what was, and uh, people will remember the centenary year. Yeah the big bumper year, you know, we're getting to that point where that centenary year is almost happening each year. Mm -hmm. And we're seeing uh, sort of, again, incremental growth. And, uh, you know, it, this, it, these are sort of events that it's an event that obviously has been going for over 100 years. And the, the exposure to this is, is, is really quite global. have a really healthy working relationship with my uh, colleague uh, June Watson, the Speaker of the House, and uh, we work very closely uh, and uh, try and uh, service our constituents uh, to the best of our ability. Um, but there's, there's always a lot of local issues you know, that we, we try and deal with. And I, and I was thinking back as to what has actually been achieved. And what's wonderful is actually seeing the Balakilia development uh, there. And, and part of that, uh, you know, that housing development, we've seen more property in our area, which, which is great. But it also actually seen um, the creation of 17 acres that was gifted to the community as part of our efforts to uh, to, to secure that so there's been an extension to the graveyard there's a new car park for the church, parish church and uh, now there is a home for the nomads rugby who uh, have been working tirelessly on that and they could see them playing this uh, th th this, this september all being well I, I don't think you forget those goals that you set out and that's what got you elected effectively yeah. um, but, but what you have to take into consideration is very often from the outside looking in once you're inside things can be uh, very different and I think you know this is where I think our government and our uh, uh, democracy the democracy that we have here on the Isle of Man and the parliament that is Timbal works really well it's we, we effectively govern by consensus mm -hmm. so what does that mean that means usually that there is uh, some sort of middle ground somewhere that people need to concede uh, because it's never what you might think it is government's uh, side of things my number one priority is is locate uh, because uh, if, if we succeed with locate uh, we ensure that the economy continues to grow and, uh, and it's about growing it sustainably and then in addition to that it would be great to actually see you know things like so the climate change uh, bill put together and really set the the platform what will be effectively you know future administrations that will will will, uh, will deliver but i would also point out this administration has moved some really significant social legislation the first bill we moved uh, was the equality bill really important over 200 plus court clauses i know i had 67 something amendments uh, uh, to that you know we've seen the abortion bill come forward uh, we're now working uh, on um, 
on the uh, medicinal cannabis and industrial hemp, which has significant economic uh, benefits as well uh, uh, on the back of all that. So, and uh, I think the, there's, there's a sexual offences yes. bill which, which is uh, which is coming up too. So these are all major social pieces of legislation uh, that uh, it's important to recognise what we actually do as our primary purpose is make the law, change the law, amend the law for the people we represent. That's our number one priority.